Hello everyone. Welcome to our fourth installment of present simple tense in English. So today we're going to cover the verb to have, which means to have possession of something. I have this pen and I will write with it. I have a computer that I'm talking to you on and I have a camera that is taking video of me. I have a whiteboard that I write on. We are going to keep going through this book English for everyone. Um, I am not sponsored by them, but I use it for people that I teach and I find it to be really, really useful. I have a link below that um, I will post. So let's look at how we use it based on who the subject is. It's a little bit simpler than to be. I have, you have, we or they have, he, she or it, has. So there's only one that is different. Have, has. How do we use this? I have a car. I own a car. I have a car. They have a math class. So they don't own the math class, but in English we say they go to a math class, they have a math class. My dad has a mustache. You know, hair across your lip like this, not a full beard, just a mustache. Um, my sister has a math degree. My sister has a bachelor's degree in mathematics. You have a cold. So in English, you have possession of a cold if, you, if you're if you ill with, with a cold. Um, you have an illness. Uh, why do we possess the illness? I don't know, but in English we do. Notice, you have, sister has. Remember, we don't have an honorific way of using a verb in English. Dad is one person, so he has. Dad has a mustache. Also, in English, if in your family there's a brother of yours, you have a brother. It doesn't matter that it's a person, you still have them. If there's a dog that is your pet, you have a dog. So in Hindi, there's a difference. Mere paas ek kitab hai. I have a book. But mere ek bhai hai. Uh, I have a brother. I don't use mere pas. But in English, we use have for all of these things. I have these things. Sometimes we'll contract these, but only when we use the word got. So you'll sometimes hear someone say, I have got a car. That just means they have a car. This is common English. You know, we don't write this, but we say it. And when we do, we usually contract it. I've got a car. I've got a headache. I've got a math class. He's got a math class. He's got a math degree. He's got a cold. I've got a brother. Don't ask me why we say this, but we do. I've got a car. So we, we do use that, but in general, I have a car is the right way. Um, but as you learn English and you get to know people, you'll say got. But when you go to work or you go to school, you don't say that. Uh, so that's not a proper way for school and work. We say, I have a car. All right, see you later. Hi, everyone. Welcome to RJK English. Make sure to like and subscribe, and that will help me make more of these videos. I'm on YouTube and on Instagram, and see us on Facebook, and we can talk further.